and we're back with some more RimWorld and our little colony that's gonna try and run five different family lines somehow. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that more later. What we're trying to do now is we're trying to expand it into this section here. I'm gonna use my normal grid-based design because otherwise it's too confusing trying to min-max things. Maybe maybe when we do the, the restart after the Acronoxus, we can try a slightly different base or maybe a subterranean one I was thinking, but nope, that's for the future. For now, we have also done a little bit of trading and we picked ourselves up an EMP launcher. So we're going to get around to using that once this construction is finished. I want to try and get the the Mechanator up and running, get them to pump out some of their little uh, helper drones. And with those helper drones up and running, we should be able to run this base a little bit easier and it'll free up some of our people to do shooting training and start worshipping the anima tree. We want to get four anima grass. We need like 20 before someone can gain another level from that. Now we have got an offer of a crashed shuttle. And one of those ones where they land four hours later and attack party tries to hit them. I think we'll accept it. I mean, I don't want to give it to Smokey. Uh, there's no point leveling them up anymore. We're going to, the rest of this, they're going to grind up using the actual anima tree. But I think we might give it to some of our other people. Why not? Who's got you fast learning bloodlust? No, you're going to be researching mostly, so we don't have time for you to be doing things. Uh, you're our mechanator, so you might be. Well, you can't because you're psychically dull. And you're a slow, oh man, Lunk being a psycaster? Yep. Yeah. yeah, Lunk. Uh, I think we're going to accept that for Lunk. It'll take them a while. They're still going to need about another, uh, a bunch more honor, but uh, yeah, Lunk, you can manage this. And that is really convenient. That is close by. And there's already rocks there to act as cover. Is there any animals nearby we can... Oh, there's a boomalope or a boom rat. Yeah, I was just thinking we've got animal call on Chewy, so yeah. All we got to do now is wait until the enemies show up. They will show up in four hours, roughly. So we're going to wait until this hits three, then we're going to send everyone over, and then we're going to kill them. While we're waiting, Quest for the Stars has come up. Yeah, Char Charlton Winston has sent you a message. Basically a ship on the other side of the map somewhere. Yeah, we're not going to be doing that. Well, I just want to keep this up here so I remember that once this hits five hours, I need to start it moving everyone into position. We have five hours left on this quest. Uh, enemies are most likely to come from either this direction or this direction. I'm really hoping they're not coming from down here. It would make things a little bit more difficult. And uh, Chewie, how are you doing on Animal Call? You still have one charge left on that. And there's a boom rat over there. I don't know if I want to hit up this boom rat or this raccoon just now to turn them to our side. I think we'll just wait until the enemies show up. If they don't show over this up over this side, and depending on how many there are, I don't think it would be very useful. All right, Quest. How much time is left? And we're at the five hour mark. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Down the bottom. Okay, it's three of them. Oh, wow. That is some good healthy coloring you've got going on there, son. Um, well, you know what that means. Chewy, I want you to immediately animal war call that uh, boom rat. That's going to help us out. And we need to rearrange everyone so they've got a better angle. Damon, get up there. Uh, Stalker, you can go at the rear. Yeah, go here. Hmm. Smokey, a little bit more up front, and Chewy will probably tuck you back in there in a second. Actually, hmm, no. Put Smokey over there, and Chewy can head to that section when they're done. Okay, slow this down a little bit. Wow, is that? Oh, they're all melee. Yeah, that would make sense. They're they're yak yakins, whatever. Yeah, they're Chewies. They're, they're basically Chewbaccas, or what do you call them? Wookies. They're Wookies. With tails. Oh god. Okay, unfortunately they both died when they went down. Uh, perfect. And uh, that was a flawless hold. I even wasted the boom rat. Oh well, never mind. Oh, one thing. Once you've war called a boom rat, or any animal, you, they can't go angry with you. So we could now kill that thing and no one would care. Or it, it wouldn't even care. It just stands there. Also works on thrombos. I somehow think they're going to patch that out. Being able to just war call a thrombo and then shoot it down without any consequences seems a little bit broken. All right, let's get everyone back to work. This uh, this place is not going to build itself. Well, it looks like they got their shuttle and got everyone out of here. Good for them. And uh, that means quest is completed and Lunk should have gained a little bit of honor with the Empire. Yeah, they got their freeholder title. That's, that's fine. But we want to get them up to as high as Yeoman. Once they get Yeoman... They get themselves one level in Psy abilities and the ability, more importantly, to worship or to gain Psy focus from meditation in a throne room. And we check out Smokey here and go under their info. They have Dignified, Natural and Morbid as focuses. Natural because they're tribal, uh, Dignified because they got uh, one level with the Empire and Morbid because, well, they're a psychopath. So, yeah, there's that. 
But uh, the plan would be to get everyone at least one level with the Empire so that they can gain their Scythe Cocust through uh, a throne room, which is far faster than worshipping at the Anima Tree, uh, the way we're playing it. So they gain their levels from the Anima Tree, and then once everyone's maxed out, we switch them all over to focusing as normal in a throne room. Saves a bunch of time. One thing we also have to do is get a few operations done on Lunk. Lunk here is... Um, well, they're special. Because of their uh, slow learning trait, they learn things incredibly slowly. Actually, give me Chewy here. Chewy's a wonderful example. Chewy's just a normal pawn. And a normal pawn with a single passion in something has a learning speed of 100%. You can see it there, third line up from the bottom. So, learning speed 100% if you have one passion. If you don't have any passion, your learning speed is 35%. This means learning stuff is very slow. It's okay for shooting, you can get that up pretty quick, but for pretty much everything else, you don't really want them learning a skill they don't have a passion in. And then you get double burning passion, which is 150% learning speed. Unfortunately for, say, Lunk here, well, they're a slow learner. They, they get a 75% multiplier, or a minus 75% multiplier. They're all done that are learning. So just say it was a normal, uh, you know, learning speed thing. Yeah, they get 25%. So they're getting 100%, they get 25 because they're getting a, a minus 75% to all of their learning. That is brutal. Like, absolutely brutal. Uh, that means their, like, their double passion constructing has a learning speed of 38%. Chewbacca here, who has no passion in construction at all, has a learning skill of 35. So Lunk learns like a tiny bit faster than Chewbacca at construction, and, and Chewbacca has literally no skill at it. That is absolutely horrifying. Damon here, complete opposite. They've actually got fast learner, plus 75. So if we get a normal one like mining, they actually learn it at 175%. And for a double burning passion, it's, wow, 267. Oh, yeah, and there we go. They have actually done their medical for the day. They've, they're have they learning max out at 9,268. Wait, I thought it was 10,000 something they were supposed to get. Uh, never mind. Uh, basically, they have uh, that massive fast learning bonus combined with a double passion. They're getting 262% learning speed base. But now Lunk. Lunk has been improved. Made better. Uh, their learning skill, ha ha their basic has gone from 8.8% to 16. Uh, this one here has gone up to 45%. And their double passion construction has gone up to 67%. They now might be able to learn a little bit of construction, plants, and animals. Oh, their, their, their melee will still go up incredibly slowly, but we could actually use them for a couple of things, maybe. Um, but, you know, Lunk, Lunk will get around. They'll just be a little bit slower, but they'll do a good job in the end. Basic mech tech is finished. Okay, that is good. That will get us into all the mechanoid stuff. We can actually gestate a few new things. We can get a constructoid, a lifter, and actually that's it. The lifters we're going to... Oh, an agri hand as well. Can help with the farming. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're going to be using a bunch of those. But the next technology, I think air conditioning. We're going to need to get our hands on some coolers just so that we can freeze our food so we're not constantly living for like every two to three days having to go out and hunt a bunch of stuff to get food in. So air conditioning is good. Then we can probably chuck batteries and solar panels on top of that. All right, let's finish this construction project. Oh, and why is that there? Lunk is set to only use industrial med tech. Oh, we only have one. Well, stone skin's gonna have to wait then, I think. Yeah, I can't... I can't afford to risk Lunk on, on that kind of medicine. No. No, 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 no. Sorry, we're cancelling that. Well, get our hands on some more industrial medicine. I can't remember... Oh, is it... Yeah, it must be two medicine per operation. I messed up. I only had three, didn't I? Now, we'll, we'll get a, another one later and we can improve Lunk some more. Some visitors have passed by and looks like one of them has a relationship with Smokey. Uh, Smokey has a fiancé. You dirty dog. I mean, hog maybe? Yeah, you dirty hog. Well, uh, unfortunately they're all baseliners, so no. Um, plus, uh, I, I don't really want you hooking up with them because that would be kind of awkward considering, you know, they were going to be leaving the tile. That makes things... Uh, like, did they only get that... Wait, you're getting an opinion bonus because they like you, but Smokey's not getting an opinion bonus? Well, that's just mean. Whatever. Not worth it anyway. Okay then, uh, at the moment, I've got the lifter, I've turned it back on again, and I've got it carting the corpses over there. I figure if I get the lifter into this corpse area, that'll be fine. I've set everyone into their own zones. So we have, where is it? Expand allowed area, area 1. So you'll notice there... Our pawns are not allowed into these corpse areas. It's so that they won't drag in the corpses and won't get exposed to the negative debuffs and we use the lifters and things to do it instead for us. It just saves a bunch of... Ooh, a gift. What did they leave? A... Uh, whatever. I suppose we can sell them somewhere. Thanks, guys. Oh, wow. Look, it's the incredibly rare thrombos. 
Ah, Randy. What is it with you and Trumbos this this last couple of games? Uh, you're probably going to go towards the middle, right? Yeah, normally they hang around your base, but normally your base is in the middle. Uh, well, we can't let them live. I mean, that's just so much meat. Uh, I would love to get the fridge up and running before then, though. Yeah, how much marble do we have? Hopefully enough to finish this off. We got... 220, yeah, we got enough marble. Oh, and we got another statue up and running. This one was good. Author, smoky, quality, good, art. Uh, on the sculpture is a depiction of a fabulous pattern of grey rays, illuminating a bramble, seven smiths watch from below. Uh, it tells the story of Damon's encampment illuminated by the light of an aurora on the 5th of April, May. Okay then, very nice. We'll let everyone grab a bit of a nap, and then when we wake up, we'll go over and we'll pick a fight with some thrombos. That might actually be awkward. We're going to have to use burden a lot on that as well. And we don't have any animal war call because I wasted it in the last round. And uh, let's see, where are we at? Uh, I'll, I'll wait until Smoke Chewie's finished with that. And we'll actually have to... We actually have to draft them to see? That's kind of annoying. I would prefer if there was some way to tell without it drafting them how much they've got left. According to this, they have... They're 51% of the way recharged. They're using this again. I really should have kept that. This would have been so useful right about now. Oh, well. No, there's no way we can wait seven and a half days. Those Stormbirds are not going to be around that long. And that's too much... That's too much money on legs over there. We gotta go grab that. Lunk! Ah, damn it, man. Eh. Uh, how many meals do we have left? Two. Okay, you know what? We're, we're going first thing in the morning, uh, right after breakfast. Everyone's going out there so that we can we can make more breakfasts. Well, bit of a problem when it comes to these thrombos. They don't seem to want to separate, and I don't think we can take two at a time. Uh, they're too close together, and they just won't drift. So I think we are going to do a little insanity. And then we're going to run away a bit. And then we're going to let them fight it out. There we go. And once they've beaten the snot out of each other, we can take out whichever one's left. This is just a handy way of softening up an awful lot of thrombos. No, no, no. Hold fire, everyone. There's no point getting involved. We are just going to let them do their darndest to kill each other. And then whichever one's left standing at the end, that's the one we shoot. And we have a winner. Very temporarily. And yeah, that winner's not feeling too good. Also, the movement speed is reduced to 3.39, which is still far higher than I'd like. Wow. 3.36. Should we run or and kite it a bit more? My god, you're so badly hurt. Lunk. Yeah, I think it's so hurt it shouldn't be able to do much. And Damon, why were you not shooting? You were done. You were on fire at will, buddy. That was... Gonna worry about it later. For now, we have plenty of food. It is time to hunt that one down. You, you're gonna bleed it in five hours. You're gonna bleed it in 13. Actually, we'll take this one back. That one will stay fresh for 13 hours longer. Once it's dead, but we'll come out and bring it back. But for now, yeah, I think it's time we got some meals on. And that's gonna give us plenty of meat. Combined with all those potatoes we got going on. Oh. People were wondering, why am I not, not using rice? It's, it's, I'm Irish, right? I'm not growing anything but potatoes if there's any opportunity to grow the potatoes. It's just the way it is. It's, it's not about efficiency. It's about sending a message. Now, even on maximum difficulty, this thing here, yeah, it still produces so much meat. That's 221 plus, I think there's another 75. Yeah. You, no, you're back. I'm sorry. This is, oh. The annoying thing about these, uh, these chewies, they are, they've got this sleep, bonus problem the the 140 percent sleep fall rate they sleep so much it really chews into their productivity it is not crippling so much as just really frustrating to deal with even with the split schedules and all that they keep running out of sleep and they keep going to bed all the time we need and since they're our cook we kind of notice this a lot i think we're going to be switching to nutrient paste at a t point in the future oh someone bring that stuff inside that's very expensive things and a little bit of quick fence smashing upping and uh, we're going to move the fence marker over there. This whole place is going to get turned into a few things we desperately need. One is individual bedrooms. I do not want Stalker or Chewbacca going crazy. Uh, if they ever get a, a mental break, it's going to be aggressive. This has been pointed out. Also, like all of their mental breaks are violent. Ch oh, sorry. Chance mental break is violent 200%. Stalker, also aggressive. Chance mental break is violent 200%. That's not good. That means if they ever have any mental break, even some of the lower down ones, it's, it could be bad for us. So we want to get them individual bedrooms, just so that we can start cranking up their mood a bit. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, maybe cancel that last bit and chop down all the trees in here first. Ah, refrigeration. 
Perfect. I think though next step we're probably gonna get some batteries and then after that solar panels. Uh, one of the other solar panels are gonna help us with uh, surviving fallouts and things like that. Um, but the batteries we need just one way or the other. I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm placing the next block. I want to make a big square here. I think this will be the very bottom of our edge of our base. We are incredibly close to the edge of the map. I don't like that. It doesn't give a lot of the reaction time, but just where the tree ended up and then we had all this water on the other side. So yeah, we'll, we'll just have to roll with it, I suppose. There we go. That should give us a nice area to plant some crops in. I think bedrooms, uh, production, kitchen, all this stuff in here. This can be our crop area. And I think over here we'll put in some solar and power and stuff like that. Oh, and over here we're going to put in our mech recharge station. A wood fire generator. We're gonna have to put in another bunch of buildings around here, but this will be sort of like where we do our production for now. Cooking and freezing and bedrooms and maybe a little bit of recreation. That's the theory. It's best to have an idea of where you're putting everything and try not to work too much around the environment. Working around the environment just means you never make up your mind and you end up moving things around too much. Just pick something, stick with it and bend nature to your will. It's pretty much how humans have done everything for a very long time and it seems to work for me in this game. Over here we're gonna put in our refrigeration area. I'm gonna put it tight up against the mountains, not really going to help. We could put it under mountains for, you know, extra cooling, but then you got to deal with insect infestations. Oh, I think we're going to have to deal with those anyway. I was looking over here at this ancient danger, and yeah, there's a, a bunch of overhead mountain. In fact, I've decided not to deconstruct this whole area. I've zoned people out of here, namely because it's just too far away and too much effort. The distance they have to walk, it, it, it's just not worth it. Our guys take too long to get there and back. Uh, for now, we just want to get up a fridge. A fridge will allow us to have a little bit more time. Let's suppose the 2.1 days. How much meals we got? 24 fine meals. I think we get the fridge fin finished before then, and then we can start storing animals and food and stuff like that and actually get to a stable supply of food and, you know, stockpile up a week or two of stuff. Royal Tribute Collector. Damn it! I didn't keep any prisoners around. Hmm. Yeah, that was sloppy of me. Next raid, we're going to keep a bunch of prisoners around. Uh, well, well, what are you guys doing in there? No, you're supposed to be in that pen. God damn it. I'll move them over now. Once we've got a fridge type area up and running, which is almost done, assuming Stoker doesn't mess this up. Yeah. Our guys only have six construction, both of them. Lunk and Stoker are doing all the construction. But uh, that should power up. Yeah, once we get that generator up and running, we're good to go. Now, components wise, I think we have just enough. If I could see the components. Uh, they're around here somewhere. I know they are. We unfortunately had nothing to trade with the Empire, so. We'll get around to it later. We'll get our hands on some gold or something. Uh, now we just need to get our hands on this generator up and running. We do have 10 components around here somewhere. I just don't know where. Uh, research green electricity is done. Then we'll commit to what we're doing. Solar panels. Thank you very much. Uh, where are you going? No, no, no. Get back to work. Uh, and you. No, 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 Smokey. Those guys are, are going off hunting. No, no, no. Research is more important right now. Though I do want to get that Thrombo carried over. Let's see. We want to put you on low for now. And we want your corpse put over there on that shelf. Assuming they can be stored on shelves, can they? Uh, someone want to grab that? Anyone? I want to put that in the, on the shelves in there in the fridge. Uh, someone's going to be providing wood to that shortly. That will power up these. Uh, this one is set to minus five. This one we can set to minus nine. So if we need one, that's fine. That'll drag it down. And then this one will go into low power mode. So hopefully, yeah, let's actually start this up and see how it works. Okay, wood fire generator time. This produces 1000 watts, burns wood to do it. It's not horribly expensive. It's 75 wood for 3.4 days. It's okay, you got to chop down a fair bunch of trees to keep it running. You don't want to be running on these things forever. But uh, in here, the temperature is currently 20 degrees. Yeah, so 20 C, 18. Yeah, it's driving down rapidly. The corpse is going to go off in 1.7 days, two days. Yeah, so we're getting more and more life out of that corpse and down to won't spoil because refrigerated. All right, come on, drag it down a little bit more. Ah, okay, that might be it. Wait, do we need another one? Oh my God, I think we might need another cooler in here. That's awkward. Hmm. Eh, it's fine. We can do is put in an extra wall segment here, delete that wall segment and uh, add in another one if we need it. But this should be where we store all our food and stuff. You can't store corpses, it seems, on wooden shelves. Well, wait, let me refresh. You can store corpses on wooden shelves, theoretically, but you can't store large corpses. You're not allowed to store large corpses, it seems. Well, that's what I've been able to figure out so far. So we can store the smaller ones, like chickens, boom rats, alpha beavers, stuff like that. But it turns out there's a whole bunch you can't because they're just too big. 
And they're probably the ones we're going to want to hunt as well. So I'm thinking we basically butcher stuff up immediately. And then we turn it into meat, and the meat we store in here, which should keep it fresher for longer. And uh, we're going to need a few more of these. Actually, wait. Uh, we'll wait until the... Uh, We'll wait till the third cooler goes in and this place actually gets properly cold. Didn't think it was going to take this much to cool down such a small area. Okay, with all of that installed, it should start dragging down the temperature. Come on, give me below zero. And a stable below zero. Oof. Not nearly as good as I was hoping for. You actually go down to minus 17. You can go to minus 9 and you can go to minus 5. Just the amount of people coming in and out is probably messing things a bit. Yeah, no, there we go. It costs us 600 watts, but that's a price I'm willing to pay for a stable freezer that we can utilize properly. Uh, give us a couple more of these in there. Um, oh, give us another one over here, maybe? Yeah. We're going to butcher everything immediately. Uh, just forever. Butcher creeper forever. Turn them into meat. Put the meat onto the shelves. Uh, we're also going to want to have a few shelves especially dedicated towards probably meals. Yeah, I'm going to cram this place. They'll have to crawl across shelves to get the things, which will slow them down a bit. But that's a price I'm willing to pay right now. Maybe later we'll change that up. Our little mech here was starting to run low on power, so I put them into low power mode. Or, well, power saving mode. There's this thing down here where you can control what they do. Work is just they run around doing their thing. They charge when they need to. Escort is, yeah, never mind, self-explanatory. Recharge, sends them back to their recharger. We didn't actually have one because we didn't have electricity at the time. And dormant makes them go into a self-charging state and they very slowly regain energy. And the way I've heard this described to me is... If you're using the, the warbots, put them into dormant self-charge mode, and they'll just sit there and do nothing until you actually draft them, at which point you can use them. So that way they don't ever need to charge, they'll basically charge in between combats, and then you can just draft them and use them as you need them. Whereas these little lifter guys, and uh, things that are going to be going around, well, doing stuff for you, you want to make sure they have the option of doing things. And, oh, there you go. It immediately goes over to charge. Now, one thing I did do is I changed the charger amount. It was set to about 5% or something. I've cranked it up to 70 I want these things to keep themselves well topped up. I don't ever want them running out. And that seems to be really slow. I have been advised this is incredibly, incredibly slow to charge up. And these things draw 200 watts. So right now we're going 2468. We're drawing 800 watts off our grid just to run this stuff. Which, kind of mental. But it's okay. Our food's stable. Uh, in fact, we're down to five meals there. I'm going to need to expand our potato crops area. I also want a, new, a dining hall right beside here so that the food can be made here. Then after the food is made, people can eat it right beside it. It's uh, not going to be perfect. You might have to do some rejigging here and there, but I figure this should be pretty decent for our needs, at least for the foreseeable future. Ah, uh, it's a raid. I was, I don't know, it's been really weird playing on normal, like, difficulty. It's just so bizarre. Wait, there's two raiders here? Oh, there's two of these groups. Wasters from the Decay Packers have arrived nearby, approaching from multiple angles. They are attacking immediately. And usually clever with their attack decks, they'll avoid your turrets and traps. Okay, right, so there's two down here. Eh, let's bring up the map. And there is... Oh, God. Well, okay, that's a little bit more like it. Some of them have toxic grenades. I want to play with those. Hmm. Are any of you worth keeping around as breeding material for our people? They're a bit of an interesting mix. Uh, they're mostly, well, tox guys. Those, uh, was it, wasters? So, yeah, basically immune to nerve gas poisons and stuff like that. However, there are a couple of exceptions. There is a Hussar over here who's got a 12 in shooting, a 16 in melee, is ugly, slothful, trigger hockey, psychically deaf, and armed with a knife. And a cowboy hat and some pants. Cowboy hat, pants, a knife, and a whole bunch of gojus, I'd say. Uh, oh, gojus dependency, carcinoma, and uh, no, no gojus on them at the moment. This one's also interesting. They are a genie, uh, one of those uh, genetically engineered uh, uh, crafter type things. The reason they're genetically engineered crafters is they've got the elongated fingers and as well as that they've got a boost to crafting. Unfortunately, they're dead cam delicate and they have extra pain, meaning they're a wimp. Basically, you touch them, they fall over. Fortunately, they also have a bad back, so they're not going to come anywhere near us. It'll take them, they move at 2.88 speed. Everyone will outrun them, they'll be left miles behind. So we won't even be able to down them. It'd be nice if they were on the front line because we could down them first. It'd be one less enemy to deal with. And I mean, once we down about four or five of them, they'd break. But they're going to be one of the ones that break and it'll be like so pointless. But... That means we only really have to do with two ranged weapons. These two bolt actions are all we have to worry about. The other three here are all close combat. That guy's grenades. I mean, that might become problematic if they get too close, but I figure, yeah, we can basically chop these guys down from a distance. Um, Yeah, Damon's got the assault rifle, Stalker's got the bolt, and they can do some serious damage to them. But I think they're going to have to hold off until we've dealt with these two. These two are closer by to our base. Uh, they're also uh, just wasters. However, I love their religion, it's called Super Raidism. Yeah. 
Raiding required. Slavery honorable. Execution required. Uh, they're not into cannibalism though, uh, and but they don't care about corpses, which I suppose is good. Never mind. Let's uh, let's get the team together. I say we take out these ones first. Then the others are going to be coming down the long way. By the time we get down to us, we'll have plenty of time to see which direction they're coming from. And, well, they might probably set fire to our walls or something around here, or maybe they'll go over there. But if we could maybe split them up where some of them go to start trouble, and we can take out two or three, then deal with the rest, that would be much nicer for us. I don't think we have any special abilities knocking around that we can use out. Well, except for some insanity lances, shock lances, the usual. And I don't think we're going to waste any shock lances capturing any, because we're still too far away from any of the breeding tech we need. Like, fertility procedures... 2,000 points. And before we can even use that, we need growth vats. To do what we're trying to do, we can't just... Well, we could do some other nastier things, but I don't want to. Um, like, to make our children? No, I think we can, well, we can hold it for the breeder vats instead of using uh, involuntary unpaid labor. Now, uh, give me a minute. Well, here they come. Uh, only one of them's got a ranged weapon in this group, so we're not even going to bother trying getting cover. We're just going to line up, use our superior range, and smack them from a distance. Um... Like if all of you would target the one with the gun, at all possible. Oof, Chewy, maybe back off a little bit. Lunk, oof, oh, you can go there, you can go there. In fact, we might want to target the close combat guy just a little bit, slow him down. And Lunk can go up front and... Yep, perfect. Okay, I think we're good. You, get behind that tree. Ow. Okay. Gain cover. And gain an angle. You. Forward. Damon. Forward. Dunk. Charge. Ow. Smokey. Stop getting your pork roasted. Okay. Done. That was very sloppy. We have a few of them left. Any of you on Go Juice or something that would make you really unstoppable if you were to suddenly and unexplicably, inexplicably go berserk? No. Uh, let me see. I think we create a quick stockpile here. Eh. Yeah. Then we start moving the stuff over there. We get five rocks there. That gives us plenty of cover to take care of them. Two there, two there. And then... Oh, look, who, look who's coming up at the rear. If it happens to be the person who's got that bad gunshot problem... Hey, fine. Uh, Smokey, how you doing? Health-wise, you're going to bleed out in 20 hours. Uh, Damon? Yeah, you know what? Give some medical. Uh, tend. And how much medicine you got on you? In fact, what did we set to on the medicine front? Nope. Nope. Yeah, that's fine. Then we're going to get the others to start hauling. Uh, yeah, we're going to get you to get those rocks over there. Minor change in plan. They look to be coming down the right side here, so we're going to set up across from this section. And they do have two bolt actions, so that could be awkward. But uh, you... No, that's fine. Uh, Lunk, actually, you're going to go right there. You are going to prioritize holding that marble chunk. You No, you're not getting time to get a meal, buddy. You're going straight onto the front line. And you two, how's it going? Your health should be an awful lot improved after one tent. After two... Oh God, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, that stalker's getting an imposition. Perfection. Nope, nope, nope. Draft up, you two. I need you over there. And stalker, I need you on the line. Okay, we do have an insanity lance, which would help set, but I think we'll save that for the bolt action, guys. And insanity lance will take care of one of them, and we won't have to worry about any more injuries. I was a bit sloppy with Smokey already. Okay, who's got an insanity lance and is willing to use it? Well, there we go. Chris, I would like you to go insane. And there we go. Chris should slow them down over that section. Oh, and this guy's decided to mess with Lunk and a few others. Uh, Lunk, get in there. Never mind, you never even got a chance to get in close. Okay, so the two bolt action people are kicking the snot out of each other. That is wonderful. Where's the last guy? Celia. I hope you don't get away, Celia. I, I really want to kill you. Okay, everyone's getting in lots of shooting experience. Will they get close enough for Lunk to get in a smack? Uh, you know what, Lunk? Get out there. There we go. Even Lunk got a little bit of a hit in. Now, there's two left there, and where's the other guy? What the? Where'd the last guy go? Oh, Celia. You are moving. Hmm. Lunk, you know what? Get in there. Everyone else is going to be right behind you. 
We're going to want someone to run down that wimp anyway. Yeah, that wimp's going to make a run for it. Chris here, however, is not. Chris is probably going to keep coming, unfortunately. Well, they are insane. Yeah, Lunk can take care of that problem. And I think Damon, who's our fastest? Yeah, 4.88. I think they can run down Celia. Sela? Whatever their name is. Uh, wait a minute. We'll get you, you three to maybe help out. We don't want Lunk getting involved in a big drawn-out brawl. That is pointless. The three of you just stand right there and shoot the enemy. Damon's going to come over here and make sure Sela doesn't get very far. Sela? And that's another one bites the dust. Okay, well, I suppose we should keep some of these for later as breeding fodder. Hmm. I'm thinking dark thoughts right here because we could potentially get our, a head start on the children production. Well, looking around, we have one female who's got six hours left in her, but she's 58, which means no good for uh, extracting oven thrum. We have a male who's 36 and a male who's 24, both of whom would be useful for... Well, actually, how many females have we got on our team? I think we've only got two females in Smokey and uh, Stalker. So there's only two females, so could be used for fertilizing their ovums when the time comes. But yeah, we don't need we don't want to breed a, a waster with a waster, so we realistically only need one of these for the girls? Yeah. Oh wow. So we need one male? Uh which one are we gonna keep then? We've got sickly and ugly. Uh I don't like to look at that. Chemical interest, brawler, hard worker, and ugly. Well, party hard, play hard, or work hard, play hard. Yeah, I, I think we can keep them around, so we'll stick them. What we can do is heal them up, stick them into one of these things, and then when we need uh, a donor, a genetic donor for our kids, for uh, Smokey, we can pop them out of storage. Actually, what kind of gear you got on you? In fact, we should probably strip these. Ooh, flak vest poor is not great, but yeah, there's some cloth parkas, some pants, some things here we could definitely use. Well, while everyone take care... Take cares of, takes care of that. Let's see how Damon does with Celia. Wow. They just looked at them and they fell over. Right, do you have any actual gear? We do have one bloodless pawn, so... Ooh, that flak vest would do nicely. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll strip them down. Damon, why don't you uh, go over and strip them off? You should be feeling pretty happy right about now. Killed three people and you witnessed the death of two. Hmm. That seems... How have you killed three but only witnessed two? I think they've changed the range on this. You have to be in a certain range to witness it, or uh, I don't know what the radius is. Testing will be required. You also get a tox pack. Okay, you and you are good, but... I Yeah, no, we don't want that. We don't want that. And... Thought button down shirt. We might actually go with that. Oh, wake up is definitely coming with us. We will... Uh, damn it, there's no place to haul it. I'll set up a, a zone for it, but yeah, it's time to like, clean up this mess. Great, an exotic goods trader has shown up. Uh, Your timing is terrible. We're still patching up the people who we're trying to hold on to. Um, that one's going to be dead in 12 hours. You, we're, we're trying to keep these two alive as well because, you know, we can we can sell them for money. Wow, that is a distinctive-looking faction. They're from... Ah, Land Will... Whatever, guys. Right, let's see what you guys have for sale. I'm sure you've got something good. Ooh, gene packs, detoxifier kidneys, mega screen televisions. They've got a few things you might be interested in. Death rest capacity serums. They seem far more common... And I thought they would be, but I don't know. This is my first exotic goods caravan, so maybe that's going to change. Ooh, Insanity Lance. Yeah, we're going to want that. Ooh, we have two thrombo horns we can trade them. And I just realized, is that compact? Oh, damn, that's compacted steel. I I always have a, a mod installed that changes the uh, the colors of minerals, uh, colorblind mineral mods. I'm not colorblind. It's just when I was doing a, a nomadic playthrough, I installed it, and then uh, colorblind people were so happy I, I did not install it. So I'll have to reinstall the colorblind mod once I'm finished with this uh, instance. The exotic goods trader doesn't really want much from us. We've sold him a couple of thrombo horns, but there's nothing we really can get except for the psychic insanity lens. I would, of course, like the stun side trainer, but I'm not willing to spend that much money for it, so never mind. Psychic Animal Pulse, we've already got one. A second one would be nice, but still, also don't have the funds for it. I think we'll take the Psychic Insanity Lance and call it a good day. And then let Smokey get some rest. They've had a rough one. Now, what are we doing over here? We have you in there and you in there. Oh, got to put one of those into a... Which one was I keeping again? Yeah, I got to put one of them into a Crypto Sleep Casket. I've already put this one in there. They've got about three hours left to live. I'll pop them out in the morning and we can heal them up if needs be. Uh, ooh. And someone want to refuel that at some point in the future maybe so that they've got some light and don't go completely insane immediately? Ah, uh, there's the other royalty DLC quest. The Deserter. No, no, thank you. Uh, I, I don't want the Deserter one. 
going up against the Empire is just a waste of time, to be honest. You're, you're always going to want to go back to them. They've got such good goodies that you can't really get away from them. Well, I mean, you could if you want to just hurt yourself. All right, we've got an acolyte of the Exus Empire wants to stay at forced evolution for 15 days with one court ally. You must keep the move to the Imperials above 25%. Um, you need a free bedroom that satisfies the title requirements of an acolyte. Ugh. We could possibly do that. Uh, not to any work, though. Or food. You know what? Let me see how long we got. We got six days. I think we can have bedrooms and stuff up by then. And we're going to need more food. So I need to get this area finished quickly. We need to get this roofed over and start making more food because we're down to two meals. And we do have plenty of meat. And it's, it's good for a long time to come. We just need to do a few other bits and bobs to make sure that the kitchen out here is not going to be terrible. Maybe by putting in maybe a little bit of flooring. Let me do a few things here. A little bit of roofing later. This place doesn't look nearly so terrible. Uh, Chewie is doing the most inefficient cooking possible by grabbing resources from over here and cooking them over this section, but it's pretty much all we can do. Oh, we actually got potatoes up and running. No more simple meals, I think, for a while. We can pause the production of those and go back to fine meals. Just fine meals give us a little bit more of a mood bonus, and we're starting to get up to that stage I don't like where uh, our, our mood is starting to get a little bit borderline here and there. Like, uh, okay, Smokey's fine. She... Actually, so we're pretty good. It's just after fights, it's a little bit dodgy, and I don't want any of these having any mental breaks. It could be lethal at this level of the game. Solar generation knocked out. Excellent. Uh, that gives us air conditioning, batteries, solar. Yeah, I think that gives us most of the basic stuff down here. I'm just curious if we should get anything else before we move on up. I am tempted by biofuel refining, but I think, I think we're just going to go straight for microelectronics. This gives us access to the comms console, which means we can lever up our mechatronics guy. Also gives a few other bits and bobs I'd like, so... Yeah, let's go for that one for now. Ooh, also the EMP launcher. Yeah, no, we're going to go that way because we it gets us further closer to what we want, which was going to be growth vats. Uh, though, should I knock out fertility procedures first? No, I think microelectronics first, then we backfill fertility procedures and we get growth vats. Once we've got fertility procedures and growth vats, we can start making our own children. Uh, the, the way we want to make them. Oh, down here we're fencing in this area. We're going to turn this into animal storage for now because we don't want the animals interfering with our cooking. We're going to be putting in a cooking section here. And the animal filth is, uh, that's a bit of a problem otherwise. Well, damn it. New lovers, Damon and Stalker. Guys, what are you doing? Ah, oh, damn it. They're going to have the need to sleep together now. Uh, sleeping alone. The thing is, I'd let them sleep together, but if I do that, then they're going to have kids, and uh, that's going to mess with our plans. Hey, right, research, I'm sorry, but we're backtracking and we're doing fertility procedures instead. We're going to need to, like, make sure that they can't have kids before they let them share a bed. Awkward. Just... Oh, normally I'd be so happy to have your, your colonist team up, but no, not, not in this instance, just this one time. But it, uh, it's fine, we can work around this. We, we have the tech... well, we will have the technology. Ooh. The lifter can refuel the wood fire generator. That's handy. And it can also refuel lamps. Hmm. I need some more lifters. Well, we're going to need another wood fire generator in a minute. Uh, we're, yeah, just to get the power. If we want to make a... What is this thing called again? Biotech. Yes, we need a mech gestator, which will allow us to produce some mechs. Uh, the problem is... Okay, it's going to require three components. We're down to four components. I should find some components to mine. I think there's some over here. So we're going to want to dig in there, and I think there's some more around on the rest of the map. In fact, yep, yeah, let's just do this the easy way. Use the, use the mini-map thing. Okay, so there's a bunch of components over here, a uh, section over here, over here, here, and there. So we've got a fair bit of components around the map we can draw upon. Then after that, we'll have to trade for them or construct them. But considering how our research is going, that should not be a problem. In fact, where's our research guy, Damon? Damon, our fast-learning, double-passion intellectual, has, uh, yeah, they're on level 16 already. They are flying through the research. Smokey's our secondary at 11 intelligence, still doing pretty good, and having the two of them working away at that stuff has been real nice for us. A couple of wild pigs have shown up. Um, not sure if we should breed them. This might actually be good for us. We get a female pig and a male pig, so they do reproduce rather rapidly, and they're good for meat. That means you'd probably want to get rid of the alpacas, though. I mean, we don't need the baby alpacas. The adult alpacas, they're working for us. They actually do cargo hauling when we need it. So we can keep one and two, but I think three and four are... Yeah, they can they can stock the fridge. Uh, our second crop of potatoes is in. Though that reminds me, we're going to have to segment this off even more because we're going to need a lot more potatoes than what we're growing already. Uh, we, we're going to need a steady, like, you know, 
Belarusian diet of potatoes. Th that was still amazed. Belarus eats more potatoes than anyone else in Europe. Even the Irish. I was kind of shocked at that. We can finally move the kitchen over here. We've got the dirtiness level down to below minus one. It, like if it's minus one dirtiness like it was over here, we've got minus 0 0.73. You don't get any food poisoning, assuming your cook has a sk cooking skill above nine or so. So what we're going to do is add in a few extra floor tiles just to drive that dirt level down a little bit more. It's just in case some dirt gets in from, I don't know, people walking through the area, dragging through some mud. We want to make sure that it never goes above one. Otherwise, we're going to get the odd food poison thing. See, it's now what? Zero, minus 0 0.87, 0 0.86. As each one of those floor tiles that they're producing goes down, it decreases. It increases the amount of cleanliness in the room. It doesn't matter that they're cooking over here, even if they're cooking on top of a pile of dirt. So long as the average of the room dirtiness is below minus one, you're pretty good on that front. All right, with that done, I think, yo, and we've got a bedroom in here for Stalker, and they're probably going to be joined by their partner, but not until we get them some form of uh, birth control. We don't want them having rampant kids going on. Not yet. We need a bunch of tech for that. See, what's the do? Yeah, see, the dirt is now 0 0.82, and it will get better as they tamed up. 0 0.79. Yeah, that is just about right. That means we shouldn't have any issues with food poisoning, hopefully. All right, with that done... It's time to maybe get up this second mech thing, though. We're going to need a bunch more components for that. Yeah, how many components? We've got four components. We're going to need a few more if we want to start producing as many mechs as we're going to need. So under biotech, we've got this mech gestator. We're going to be sticking that in there. We don't have enough steel, unfortunately, but that we can sort. In fact, we got loads more over here. Plenty. Eh. Oh, how are the pigs doing? Eh, you... Want to get pregnant at some point? Uh, yeah, pregnant early stage is perfect. They should have a nice litter. Then what we want to do is we want to wall in this section here. We want to make sure that nothing dies when stuff happens, which stuff will happen sooner rather than later. Ooh, these little lifters can do building supply runs. That's very handy. While everyone's taking a nap, they can prep all the construction work for the next day. And Lunk has hit construction level seven. Nothing like having a, a little bit of extra learning to help get them over the line there. They're going to hit level eight. And at that point, They'll stop failing at stuff. Oh, that lifter is going to... Yeah, I, I don't think that lifter can harvest that heal root properly. You know what? Don't care. We've got enough heal root now. I kind of maybe overcompensated there. We now have 52 heal root medicine available, or herbal medicine. I am very happy with that. All right, and is that person capable of walking again yet? I think they are good. In that case, time to put them in storage. I was thinking what we can do is... Uh, operation, give me anesthetize. Perfect. So we anesthetize them, then we jam them into a crypto sleep gasket. You can't put them in while they're awake, it seems. So this guy, this one is the one we want to keep as a donor. Wait, no, this is the one we want to keep as a donor. Uh, this is the one we're going to sell, and we're going to sell this one as well. So I want to not open this one. We're going to cram this full of five other prisoners, and then the next time the royal goods guy shows up, we can trade them five prisoners for honor with the empire. Just a nice way of keeping them on ice until we need them, without having to spend a bunch on, well, food. Awkward. Uh, one of the tribe's people of Lur have died while they were passing through. This wolf uh, basically ate the head off them. Um, The tribe people of Lur are now just a little bit angrier with us, but honestly, I mean, it's kind of on them for getting eaten by a wolf. Not our problem. Oh well, bye guys. Uh, we'll probably end up at war with them for some reason. It's RimWorld, you always end up at war with everyone. Right, right now, we're finally getting around to building this mech chest editor. It's just, we have to do a lot of mining for steel. Uh, now, when it comes to these things, I think we're going to activate this. Once that's activated, we can start using this to make more of these little mech things. Actually, wait. We're going to need to produce the, whatchamacallit thingies, the um, subcores. Each one of these requires a subcore, so I'm going to need another building first before I can make these. Uh, we've got the mill tours, which are basically little shotgun bots. We've got the lifters, which are haulers. Uh, we've got the constructors, which constructors. And then we've got the agri-hands, which are farmers. I'm thinking a few lifters are fine. The, the way these mech recharge stations work, well, the way I understand it works is you can run about five bots on them. So five of these little mini bots can run off one lifter station and a normal uh, mechanator can support six bots. Before you get some of the add-ons, we can build some stuff to go with this that would make them better. But I think we'll get five to start because, well, we have to figure out how we're going to deal with all this toxic waste packs we're generating from recharging them all. Hmm. All right. Give me one of these subcore encoders. We have produced a basic subcore. This is unfortunately expensive for us at this particular time because it costs two components and 50 steel. That's fine. Subcore is made, so we can disconnect that from the power. Now we can hook this one up to the power uh, and actually... We should probably allow that one to go back online. Yeah. 
I right, say so you can go back online once you're activated. That gives us more power. We can use this to produce something. I'm thinking we want the Agri Hand or the Lifter. I think more Lifters. I would probably want two Lifters because that hauling is incredibly powerful. The less hauling our people have to do, the better. You know, another thing I would really like, but we're not there yet, would be to get access to standard mech tech level two. That's going to require mech electric. It's just a long way away, but what it does give us is clean sweepers. So having robots going around doing the cleaning would save us so much hassle. But that is for another time. For now, we just want to get our hands on another mover bot just to see how they work out. All right, Stalker is producing them and done. Oh, wow. It takes 2.4 days to build one. It's a little expensive, and we've already got five toxic waste packs from the recharge station. And what's the bet? So this is going to produce a bunch more toxic waste. Oh yeah, well, we'll have to figure out what to do. It and by figure out, I mean we're going to dump it on our enemies. Like obviously, that's that's what everyone's going to do. You're either going to take a caravan over and dump it on them, or you're going to tech up to where is it? Uh, transport pods, and then just fling transport pods full of toxic waste at your enemies. You know, all the fun stuff. Well, we've got a bunch of quests it quests in it's oh nice okay we've got the hunt for the artifact which would be nice i would like to do that one um we also have let's see farming works like noticed if we want to go find 511 potatoes tempting but uh, i don't like leaving our, our tile so undefended logging work site for 624 wood don't care 205 bird skin don't care maker's collection of supplies skill trainer animals not really important to us components does tempt me but uh, it's just the location it's way over here. We'd have to cross, like, where are we? We're over here. We would have to cross a bunch of mountain tiles, and the terrain movement penalty is 2.5 there, like 1.5 there, another 4 there. Like, we, it would take us forever to get there. Like, if we try to do a caravan, it would estimate, ooh, 0.7 of a day? Uh, it'd be a day there and back. No, like, I don't want to risk it, because if we get attacked while we're gone, it could be absolutely devastating to the colony. Like, how many people do we send to take care of that mess? Actually, how many are there? Uh, oh, and that would make a, uh, a faction hostile with us, so let's not do that. It doesn't even tell us how much is there or how many enemies are there. You know what? Not worth it. Too risky. We've got enough components to keep us going for a while, and we can do some trading to get more if we want. I decided it might be an idea to go kill some muffalos. Uh, this may go badly. Um, where is Smokey? Maybe you should burden that one at the rear. Let's buy ourselves a little bit of time. And yeah, the rest of you... Start shooting down that front one. Uh, yeah, Smokey maybe burden that other one there. Okay, Lunk, get in there. Okay, that's another one down. Okay, perfect. That went quite well. Okay, a few injuries on the animals, but by and large, I think we're going to be going home and everyone's going to be eating meat tonight. Nice. Yeah, that just basically takes care of our food problems for quite a long time. Oh, one little trick. If you've got someone who's incapable of doing dumb labor, they can't carry back, uh, say this, uh, they can't haul back one of these muffalos. Uh, where is it? Consume muffalo. Will, I uh, cannot prioritize, will never do hauling. But what you can do is find one that's still alive, say this one, and say prioritize hunting that muffalo. At which point they will run over you, uh, prioritize. You can get them to basically run over they will do it like it's a hunting thing and it's not actually a carry thing, so they'll kill it and then, then they'll bring it back. And see, Damon here, who's incapable of dumb labor, will still kill it and cart it home because that's what they should do. Uh, and someone left some pemmican behind. God damn it, guys. Also, you're not even supposed to be able to eat pemmican. Oh, one thing I should show off before people kill me is the heat overlay map. This was, a, this was actually a mod that was around for a long time. But now it's actually baked into the base game. Oh, unless I put in three doors here. So the upfront door, that just allows me to, well, reduce the amount of temperature getting in and out. Then we've got the middle door, and then we've got the outside door. And you'll notice they're all kind of, their temperatures are kind of a little bit wonky. It's because doors slow down the flow of temperature. So I'd like to put in a few just to see if it helps. It does slow down our pollens going in and out, but hopefully it keeps just a little bit of the chill in to stop things from getting too, uh, or the heat from, the chill from escaping. So it hopefully keeps the meat good just a little bit longer. And that lifter can go and sort out all the meat we've just brought in. As well as that, Chewbacca will happily butcher up all those muffalos once they've finished catching up at all the cooking chores. Nice. Damon just went for a hide in the room. Uh, yeah, sleeping alone. They're not very happy. Oh yeah, we're going to have to get them uh, in their own individual room. Stalker's doing an awful lot better since we put them in there. Reason being, they're like an undergrounder indoors a little bit more, but as well as that, they're not sleeping in here. 
And we could probably get some temperature control as well. It's a bit warm and everyone's not liking sleeping in the heat, but... Well, it is what it is. We're still kind of struggling on the components front. We got four components. Ugh. Yeah, oh wait, Lunk is coming back with about five more. We managed to get some from the Mechanator ship that crashed. Well, that's the type of raid you don't want to see. Dropping right on top of you. Southwestern Eslers? Who the hell is Southwestern Eslers? All right, Southwestern Eslers, Rough Outlander. Okay, this I don't like. Problem with this is, well, they could have Hussars, which I don't like. They could also have Neanderthals, also don't like those. But more importantly, they could have explosive weaponry and all sorts of nastiness. And uh, even more importantly, Damon's on a mental break. Damon's on a mental break, which means he can't help us. And Damon is the one who's equipped with the assault rifle. Yeah, the excellent assault rifle. A really tasty night donkey. Uh, okay. So, everyone up on Adam? Now, I'm not exactly sure where they're landing, but I'm thinking we're going to hold in here because we need to protect Damon. Uh, lifter bot? Sorry, buddy. You're involved in this too. Uh, now, animals? Yeah, uh, attack animals all go. Where is the pod's landing? Well, that's bad. Hmm. This is not good. If this was... Damon wasn't mentally broken, we would be exiting this room right the hell now, through a door, and shooting back inside. <sighs> okay, so I can see... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's gonna be six of them landing in here. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. You, shock glance. Yes, uh, we also have burden on us. You... Mm. Oh, it depends what we're facing. I've an idea. What we do is we bunch up around Damon. We pop a low shield. Um, yeah, low shield is going to be what should help us out here. If we pop a low shield for the ones outside. Now, Damon's probably going to try something. You, lifter bot, get over there. Lunk, going to get you in here. You, uh, get there. Uh, we might need to just insanity lance one or shock a couple down. Got a psychic shock lance. You, Chewbacca... Pull back just a little bit more, buddy. Right there. Now, I want your back of there, so if I pop the low shield, it'll protect us, but it won't protect them. But if they're all close combat, this could get real hairy real damn fast. Um, no, that guy's not. Uh, you are a shotgun. Hmm. Are you worth keeping? Nope, you are a baseliner. I say everyone murders you with... Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, we got a knifer. Uh, we've got a knifer. Got our base liner. Okay, base liner. Only too dangerous. Your close combat's going to be good, but so long as we keep you away from our f shooters, that should be grand. You are into artist intellectual. Oh, that's great. You got a knife? Not really too worried about you. Shotgun guy. We're all targeting down, so I'd be more worried about right now. Yeah, Hannah's probably going to get hurt. Oh, that guy I don't like. Hmm. Okay, Lunk took care of that one. Uh, right, you. Chewbacca? I mean, we've only got... Actually, no. We'll pop the shield. Yeah, that works for me. Then, Lunk, you don't have to worry about that guy because he can't do anything to you. Damon, just stand there and, and, and be, like, happy about all the death. Do you, yeah, you got bloodlust, so... Yeah, that's totally... Witness death with bloodlust. I'm so much happier after today. You hit my dog, buddy. That's not good. The lifter's gonna take care of you for that one. Uh, Smokey, Stalker, Chewbacca, you three. I want you to focus down pistol guy on the edge there. What the hell? Did he just deploy his own shield? Okay, that's a thing that just happened. Uh, oh no, buddy, you know, none of you are escaping. You you want to break down my doors? No, 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 you came through my roof. You're leaving feet first, every single last one of you. None of you escapes alive. Uh, okay, Lunk. Eh, worry about everything else later. You get that guy. Uh, you, I'll shoot that one. Lunk, he's getting away. 
Uh, I suppose long's a bit slow. They lost it too in, uh, yeah, one of the little toes got destroyed. So they're not as fast as they used to be. However, they do have something else going for them that none of the others do. They have an awesome Persona Mono Sword and an awful lot of aggression. Right. Any of you worth keeping? 29-year-old female. Oh. Left leg cut off, right femur shattered. I mean, so long as you're still mobile, we can sell you to the Empire. Uh, you're the only one still alive. Considering how annoyed I am with you people at the moment, I'm thinking we're probably going to keep you around. Uh, tend without medicine, we'll probably dump them somewhere. Lunk, how you doing down there? Need a hand? No, didn't think you did. Cut their leg clean off. Oh my god. Yeah, Lunk's a bit of a monster with that sword. That 50% bonus to uh, melee damage means when they hit someone, they just take stuff right off. Right hand, cut right off. Uh, right leg stab wound? Hmm. So your stab, crack, persona, mono sword. They basically took their entire shoulder off and their clavicle pretty much the same time. That's... Ah, oh, Lunk, we love you. Damon just had the best day. They just witnessed bloodlust while on a mental break. They're like, yeah, super happy. They're like uh, hiding in the room. A bunch of people came in and got shot. And they're like, cool, cool, cool. Excellent day. Uh, let's see if any of these are worth stripping for their gear. Uh, and do a few other tidy up bits and bobs. Quick bit of a sprucing up of the place. and it's, it's almost looking good as new. That went a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, Downs over here is interesting. Uh, female, unfortunately, baseliner, but they're still... Uh, you know what? No, we'll just stick him in a casket once they're mobile, and we can always just sell him off to the Empire if needs be. They're missing a left leg. Oh, and a right femur. Yeah, they have no chance of getting back up again. Interesting. No, no. Worry about that stuff later. Now, I'm going to cut this out here, but there is one thing I want a little bit of input on. See, what I want to do is make a few changes to our families. Like, we've got our five families here. We've got the Chewies, the Lunks, the Smokies, the Damons, and the Stalkers. The thing is, I kind of want to color code them a bit, and, and then sort of make sure that all of the children they have are all color coded the same way. So all the children of Lunk will be the same color as Lunk, and what I want to do with Lunk is make Lunk green. Yep, I, I want to color code Lunk's entire genetic lineage green. All the Chewies, they're all going to be sandy blonde, every single last one of them. Uh, the Smokies, you're going to have a melanin one with pink hair, just because, I don't know, there's something about them that just screams pink skins. Uh, all of the Damon class family members will all be color-coded red, including their hair. And for the Stalkers, I was going to go with grey or even black, but uh, the girlfriend recommended blue because of their uh, toxic resistance, and I'm like, I kind of like it. I mean, okay, I'm going to color code their clothes as well, and I might just modify their mods so that they are their, color, their preferred colors, so all of their preferred colors match their skin colors. So I figured they'd have green clothing, green hair, green skin, and basically just color code all the families, and then color code their bedrooms as well to go with it. I'm not sure what happened if we hook them up. You know what? Whatever. Or we could leave them the way they are, but I think this would be a little bit more interesting. I'll see what the comments say. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and good luck. Mm -hmm.